Well, hello everybody and happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate that. Today I'm going to revisit what has been my least favorite razor blades thus far, which are the Shark Platinum Blades. I'm going to give them an, another go. I see a lot of people seem to like them. Maybe I can get a better lather, have better results this time. So let's see how it goes. said in the intro I'm going to shave with the shark chrome razor blades I took one out it comes in this envelope if you see some stuff on my face I already it bloomed my uh, puck of soap which with it being Thanksgiving week I thought I'd go with bay rum because the spices in that remind me of a pumpkin pie which is something traditional to have on Thanksgiving So uh, this Thursday in the United States is uh, Thanksgiving. It's uh, been celebrated for hundreds of years before we were even a country. It started with the pilgrims and the Native Americans having a feast together to give thanks for their harvest and hunts and stuff like that. And it's been going on for, like I said, hundreds of years. I think I saw the other day that it became a official national holiday by Abraham Lincoln, the president in the 1860s. So I lathered, lathered up some bay rum soap, like I said. Now, when I first did a review of these blades, uh, and I think in subsequent videos, I said these are my least favorite because they had a lot of blade feel, but yet did not seem very aggressive, did not seem to give me a very good shave. So I don't mind blade feel, excuse me, as long as I end up with a nice, smooth, baby face shave. But that was not the case. So I, I see a lot of people like these. I see they're popular. I thought, well, let's give it another try. Maybe with some better, better, better lather. I can't speak today. Better lather and more experience. Maybe it'll turn out better. Oh man, down. I got a few things on my shirt of soap. So, if you live outside the United States, let me know in the comments if you guys don't have Thanksgiving, do you have something similar? So, a lot of people travel to relatives' house for a big, it's mainly a food surrounding holiday, so there's no gifts like at Christmas or anything. Uh... A lot of prep usually goes in the either day or the night before. Like we have lots of people, so I'll be cooking a non-traditional food for some extra meat, which is I slow smoke a brisket on my smoker. And that'll take all night into tomorrow. So in addition to the prep for the cooking and the traveling, a big thing to watch on TV is in New York City, they have the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It's a large department, Macy's is a large department store. And Herald Square, New York City, I think is their flagship store. Gotta be careful talking. So it's a big parade that has lots of uh, 
balloons going down the street of different characters, you know, cartoon characters like Snoopy and probably have Superman and stuff like that. Anything in pop popular culture, Kermit the Frog. Oh, a lot of floats. A lot of times I'll have singers or a celebrity on them singing a song. The, uh, the big show that's on around Christmas time is the um, Radio City Music Hall show with the Rockettes. So the Rockettes will do a number with do a big kick line in front of everybody. Uh, a lot of marching bands. It's a big... Uh, for like a high school marching band, it's really nice to be invited to perform at that. Um, let's see what else. Like I said, bands, marching, marching bands, regular musical acts or bands, and celebrities will always be at it. They'll be on TV. I can't imagine going to it. It's got to be tons and tons of people. Then when the parade's over, there's usually, a, I believe the early football game is always the Detroit Lions versus just whatever team they rotate on and play. Then later on in the afternoon, the Dallas Cowboys always play somebody. And then lately, the last maybe 10, 15 years or so, they've added a, a night game. Then, uh, People have the food. Oops, I meant to go across the grain. So usually the big thing of the day is A large meal with you have this try to get as much family as you can and you sort of give thanks for things you're blessed with so traditional is a uh, turkey with gravy Uh, stuffing. I keep forgetting what I'm doing here. Stuffing, mashed potatoes. Uh, I don't know if this is traditional or not, but my mom always did it, and now my wife does it as butternut squash. Uh, corn is a big thing. A lot of families have their own twists and put whatever side type of dish they like. Um, it's a big eating day if I haven't mentioned that. Uh, trying to think what else here. Most people, of course, like all the sides more than they really like turkey because turkey's not that exactly the most ex exciting food. Usually a lot of leftovers, so we like to get some good rolls for have like a turkey sandwich for leftovers the next day. There's a tradition of one of the bones in the turkey is a, a wishbone. It's sort of shaped like a Y. And, and then um, the tradition is you get a couple of the younger kids to each grab a side and then pull. And then when it breaks, whoever gets the bigger piece, like their wishes for the next year will come true, you know. Sort of silly, but it's a tradition. And then, you know, you go. You have the turkey coma. Turkey coma from eating all the food and the turkey. I think it's tryptophan turkey has, and that makes you tired. Plus, generally eating a lot of food can make you tired. And we clean up usually, and may watch some of the one of the football games. We tend to have ours about two in the afternoon so it's like don't eat most of the day 
and then you get a really big appetite for like it's sort of a lunch and dinner put together. May take a break of eating for a while and then have desserts. Sometimes if you have like a split family, you might eat the meal with one family and go to the other family. So you go to the wife's family for the meal and then the father's family to, to the other, the other in law's house for dessert. Been a lot of talking, so I don't know how good I shaved. Hmm. Uh, let's see. So for desserts, I'd say the most popular are pumpkin pie and apple pie. We also have, always have pumpkin bread, which I usually eat the meal. Like I said, people put their own twist on it with things their family likes. So let me know in the comments something you enjoy traditionally with your Thanksgiving or at my Razor is twisting. Must not have had it down tight. Luckily, luckily I didn't butcher myself. Okay, let's do a check on how we did and do any touch-ups. You yeah, can use a little touch-up. I like to do a little skin pass on the cheeks. Got lots and lots of leather left. Okay. I haven't really noticed a ton of blade feel this time, which is good. Daughter gave me my nice free haircut yesterday. Okay, I like to put the extra cream on my face while I clean up, so I will do that, clean up my area, and get back to you with my thoughts on the shave. Thanks. Well, welcome to the post shave. Just doing a final clean with some cold water. Pat that dry. Put on my usual Paraso aftershave splash. Like the smell of that, eucalyptus smelling. Sure opens up the nostrils if you got a cold. Then I like to uh, finish off with the Nivea 
from a um, sensitive post shave bomb. Thanks for watching this video. I hope everyone has a good Thanksgiving for those that celebrate. Safe travels to anyone that's traveling. Oh, I didn't mention most people, have, except for poor retail workers, they have to work. But almost everybody, except for like police and firefighters and hospital people, most people have the day off. And then Friday's a big day. It kicks off the Christmas shopping season. They call it Black Friday because that's when companies, instead of being in the red, which means they're in debt, that they start making profit from all the sales. So... Use the grande version, the grande handle of the Mule R eighty nine. I can't speak today, and the Shark Platinum blade. So let's grade this. So I can still see some in the mirror, but when I feel it, it's really nice and smooth. So wow, these blades are a lot better than uh, when I used them the first time and then they were my worst. I think these are, I mean, I had a bad blade the first time, maybe my tight technique's getting better, more experience, I don't know. What do you think it could be? Um, so thanks for watching. Leave comments. What do you guys like to do for Thanksgiving? Maybe it's unusual or specific to your family. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, maybe you're in another country. I like learning these things. What do you guys have that's something similar to that? And what, what are the traditions there? So thanks for watching. Have a good Thanksgiving. Safe travels to everyone. And enjoy the long weekend if you have it. And uh, thanks again for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, push that bell button, all the usual YouTube stuff. Thanks again.